Hi all and welcome to my humble abode. Today's book of the week is The Magic of Forgiveness, Emotional Freedom and Transformation at Midlife by Tian Dayton PhD. Yes, I love this book. This book gave me a new outlook on forgiveness. I've heard for many years that forgiveness is for yourself. And I've always been against that. Like, well, how is forgiving somebody else for their wrongdoing for me? You know, it made no sense. It never made sense until I think now, reading this book, opened my mind to a new idea. And the idea is it gives you inner peace. And not just inner peace to work through the pain that someone else might have brought into your life to understand that a lot of things that people do aren't necessarily things that are against you or because of you you know some people have to work their, through their own demons and you're just probably in the way so to speak and not in the way like um you're a bugaboo or whatever if you know that phrase if you're you're not a person that's um purposely hurt all the time you know some people have no malice in their heart but they still you know are into themselves or whatever the case may be and you just weren't part of the plan and you end up getting hurt and so even when someone isn't in the mindset to want to be forgiven that's something you have to do for yourself and that's what this how this book plays out it's basically telling you how to it gives you a bunch of stories on different people's lives and letting you know how they had to work through their issues of forgiveness forgiving people that didn't necessarily even know they needed to be forgiven that inflicted pain on them from mothers to fathers friends intimate relationships so on and so forth it also um goes into telling you you know why you need this for yourself i mean forgiveness or being angry it talks about the different stages of being angry and how people play out their anger and might not even necessarily know that they have these hidden anger issues. You know, there's people that are passive aggressive who basically they'll do the silent treatment on you or they um, pretend that everything is okay, but then they kind of give you some slight nudges of insults or whatever the case may be for maybe small and insignificant things, but they make it seem like it's something big. And then when you ask about them, it's like, oh, there's nothing wrong with me. Those are things that we as people, we have our we put our into our anger or we let our anger out in those ways and a lot of times that's not even healthy for us because it's like it's eating at our souls not the other person's soul i heard this saying it was you know being um angry with someone is like drinking poison and expecting the other person to die and this book that's how it basically explains it i really love this book i know it says transformation at midlife i'm 40 so if i die at 80 maybe this book is like hitting on something but <laughs> i think it's a good read no matter how old you are really because forgiveness is something that's been hard for me for a very long time and that's something that put me in 2017 it put me in a situation where i felt as if they, i really need to look at myself and i need to learn how to forgive those even that people that don't ask me for forgiveness or don't even know that they did anything wrong to me to set my soul free to allow myself to feel good and in a space where i'm comfortable and happy with me yeah and then also in this book in the appendages it has like a little sayings or a little um things that kind of help you to write down affirmations and it also has something about how to um take time with your children you know to create a, a healthy mental allows you to be able to deal with the the uncomfortableness and the things that arise in your life that may cause you to have to forgive somebody because if you have a healthy and emotional a healthy emotional state that's how you can deal with those day-to-day -day issues you know being able to be mentally strong yeah it takes a strong person to forgive and i know that so yeah i hope 
<laughs> I hope that I gave this book some justice. If not, please go out and read this book. I, at any age, this book is a great read. All right, well, love yourself and take care. Until next time.